What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Today, I want to talk about one of the owners that's been really pushing the lockout and pushing back, wanting the players to take a cut and pay. And uh, ironically enough, it's Craig Leopold of the Minnesota Wild. Um, you know, the reports been coming out. You know, he's talking about losing money and all this, which I think is completely. It's, you know, it's ironic for one thing. I mean, you handed out two hundred million dollars this summer to Suter and Parisi, and now you're not making enough money now in fairness to those two guys. They got the ten million dollars up front, so. There's nothing you can do about that, but you know he wants to take a seven percent cut on, on each of those ninety-eight million dollar contracts. Saying to yourself, "Well, I mean, what the hell? You know, you negotiate those deals in good faith, and now, oh yeah, we're losing money, so you know, give us some back." And it's like, no, you know, you're dumb enough to make, give all those. I'm not saying dumb enough; they're both good players, but at the same time, you want to you want to be a big boy and give out all this money. You can't ask for it back. It's not it's not right. It's not you know ethically sound. You know, in the business world, and just something you don't do. You know, if I'm Suter or Parisi, I'm giving back the ten million dollars, saying I want my I want my contract ripped up. This is this is erroneous. How can you tell me you're gonna pay me this much, and then once I sign it, you know, go behind my back and want to cut my deal? It's 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 wrong. And it's not just Leopold. Jeremy Jacobs of the Bruins is there's another one that's pushing for you know anything to save a dime. But you know, at the same time, the players you know got to take a stand and continue to to stand. Stand tall against the owners. You know you got to look at it as this sends a message to unions everywhere. I think you know talking about the NHL players being spoiled babies, but at the same time it's not about the money. It's about the the moral principle, and you know they're they're holding strong and you know they're not backing down. That that's what you got to do. You need that uh, from from the guys in charge. You know to to you know some bus union in Houston and uh, you know some auto mechanics union in, in Detroit see this and say okay. You know, if they're holding strong, why can't we? And I think that that's what you got to do. It's not about the money. It's about the moral principle. You know, you got to tell these fat cats, billionaires, you know, no, we're not taking your shit. Go somewhere else, you know, and I think that's what it's all going to come down to. And I think we've lost a season. I don't think there will be a season played. I don't think it's going to be a single game. I think the owners are so arrogant. And one thing I don't like about the structure is how can your commissioner be on the side of the owners? You know, your commissioner should be a neutral third party, if anything. You know, it should be head of the owners, head of the play association, and the the, the commissioner should be right in the middle, so he can be, you know, look at it objectively. But that's something that they don't have. You know, there's really no third party ruling on this, and it's it's too bad because that could ultimately lead to something. But you know, it's going to be some give and take, and you know, hopefully the players don't back down and cave in. Um, but unfortunately for us, this doesn't look good. You know, talking once a week over the phone is going to get it done. Like I said, like Bobby Orr. That's my cooler just saying. Um, lock them in a room with enough food and water for two days and don't let them out until they get a deal done. That's what it should be, but you know, neither one of them is, there's no sense of urgency for me to decide. But um, just thought I'd, I'd give a little lockout update. I'm going to try to keep the lockout updates to a minimum until this gets solved whenever. But, you know, it's just something to think about. That's all I got this episode of Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the lockout, off season, and beyond. Later, guys.